Hi there, it's Dr. Scott McLean, and this is my lead dental assistant, Jessica. And she's about to try the Medit i500 for the first time. Now, she has had uh, scanning experience, but no training on the Medit i500 at all. So let's check in on her and see how she's doing. How do you like it? Oh, so much nicer. I find it picks up more informa like information faster. Yeah. It's lighter too. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Quite a bit lighter. Yeah. Now this is a very candid discussion, so no rehearsal here. So we're talking about the features and she's noticing how light it is and uh, how it moves around quite easily. And so let's uh, talk about the gloves here for a second because it's an interesting feature. See how it's not picking up your gloves? Yeah. Is it your glove color is in there? Okay, you put it in there. So the glove color can be registered, in fact three can be registered so that they're excluded with the artificial intelligence. So this makes scanning a lot easier. The lips also are being uh, taken out by the computer and making it so that it works really quite well. I'm going to click over here on this. And this is a, tells you you need some more on the molar. And some in there too. The reliability test is an AI feature that allows us to see where the scan is a bit thin. So we're building an STL file here and the blue is uh, very adequately done but the pink and red show us that we have to go back over it and pick up more of the mesh that's going to be for printing, for using the file when we're doing implant planning. So a whole bunch of different features when we get this file. We're making a byte plane with this particular case so as Jessica goes around this gives her feedback and also the uh, guitar noise when it's fading and going in and out it tells her that the camera's in focus or the camera's not in focus so this allows her to know that she's on track now you can see that red kind of line that's a bit of her glove the computer's going to go in and erase this and make this so it's out of the the focus so pretty cool feedback So Jessica has not had training on the Medit i500, but you'll see she's easily using it going around. So as we go into these areas that have a little bit of pinky red, this tells us uh, that this is just, a it needs a little bit more. So watch as she comes around the margin here. You can see that she's picking this up, but it tells her where to look with the camera. So the camera also can see the tongue there, but it's not picking up the tongue because it's knowing that uh, this is not what we want to scan. So this is artificial intelligence, which is kind of cleaning the scan as it goes, which avoids frustration because when you're using cameras, sometimes if the tongue is getting in the way or the lip, you have to go back in and clean it. And so this is a real winner, this camera. And I've been impressed with uh, how it uh, works, how the layout of the software is how easy the STL files are sent. Very easy to kind of put them in different parts of the office. Watch this now, this feature is really cool. You can hold the button down. This advances you to the next arch. So you don't have to touch the screen or the keyboard. It allows less gloves to be used when you're doing a scan because you're gonna have to use a couple pair of gloves usually. But um, here it allows you to go forward. So she did the maxillary scan. Now she's doing the mandibular scan and still has the AI feature on with the reliability test. So I'm going to click it and turn it back off. And you can see as I click this, I'm going back to the tissue color. And patients like to see that because they can see what's going on. Now, if you're going to get a scanner, I would seriously consider this. It's uh, less than half the price of most of the uh, major scanners on the market. And as you can see, it goes around and excludes um, the tissue so it's it's very smart and actually uh, very quick picks up things some of the downfalls you do have to buy a super power computer if you're going to use it so this is an alienware from uh, Dell with a NVIDIA uh, card and 32 megs of RAM 
So you need a very high powered computer. But watch, this guy's got a lot of lip here and as she goes in around, the lip is just not showing up. And so this is pretty cool because these are the things that your team are going to find frustrating because you're going to, as the dentist, you're going to either um, do it yourself or, or allocate this to someone on your team. And so if you're getting the team to do it, they don't want to be frustrated with this. And so as we go to do the occlusion scan, it's going to be a wiping up and down. So like a swiping motion. And watch how quick this registers. We can see that as Jessica kind of comes in, the two arches are there, and she does a little bit of a side swipe, and boom, the occlusion is captured. Then the neat thing about these STL files is you can take them and send them somewhere, send them to the lab, send them to your consult room, send them to wherever you want to send them, to the patient even. It's very, very easy. This is one of my favorite features of this scanner. And last, this scanner does not have subscription fees. And one of my favorite, favorite features is you do not have to reboot it. So you unplug it and the battery power of the laptop keeps it going. But we also have a battery supply plugged in. So let's hear what Jessica has to say and see what this scanner really was like. <laughs> and you didn't have training. What did you think? No, seriously, what were your thoughts? No, you? it was easy. The wand is very light. I like that the material stitched together quickly. Um, and it's very accurate to see where you are with the wand in the mouth and on the screen. So all in all, the Medidi 500 is a positive experience, no subscription fees, and uh, great AI features, and there's lots more to come. But uh, this little scanner punches above its weight, and I would check it out if you're going to get a scanner. And this is Dr. Scott McLean, and this has been a video about digital dentistry.